Tiny homes to help the homeless in Chico will soon be put to use. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca joins us live from Everhart Village. And Tori, how many homes are actually coming? Well, Alan, Chat's goal is 20 tiny homes with one person per home. Right now you can see five of the homes behind me and they're not finished quite yet as inside still need to be fully furnished with amenities, but they are transitional homes that Chat hopes will help a lot of people. Something happened to us to put us out here. Chat is trying to help people like Sharon living on the streets of Chico, but with a different type of housing project, tiny homes. So we get in, we stabilize, teach them about the needs for medication. We work with behavioral health, uh, get them on services that they need and ultimately transition them hopefully to permanent housing. Believing this. All I want is a door to close and a lock to lock to feel safe. And this will give those people that which starts the healing process to going on to something better. And that's our goal. Let's take a look at what the space inside actually looks like. The space is small, but it is going to include all of the amenities that people really need, starting with a kitchenette in this corner, a bed in the back, a small closet, and then eventually wrapping around to a bathroom on this side. And people will also have a deck right out in front. We have a lot of pieces that we still need to put together. We're still working with the county and the city, making sure that we do everything right, have the right permits to make it happen. The village will be in the epicenter of behavioral health services. We all need it. Whether they're going to admit it or not, that's the question. If you can get people into housing, that provides a foundation for them to move on in their life. It improves employment opportunities, health outcomes. So having a house uh, is where it all starts. I just hope that people um, don't take it for granted and that they're, you know, like me, always grateful to have a place to call home. They are hoping to have these homes complete by the fall. That way people can move in before the winter time. Reporting live in Chico, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Well, this is where the homes will be on Cohasset Road behind Behavioral Health. Trausch adds that Behavioral Services will be helping uh, choosing who gets to move into the homes.